Jumping into me would probably kill you. And the, and the great thing about this Maybe. plan is it will let us end early. Um, oh, <laughs> well, we're back. Uh, so surprise, we're trying to wrap up a little early tonight. Uh, in other news, the plan is to murder uh, these oh, three people yes. turning and walking away. Yeah, we, so we have this sort of moment where we look around like maybe he's – I'm trying to show him wedding plans, and I suddenly realize that 80 Manity just fucking bounced, like just gone. Um, and it just sort of dawns on me, and I do a knowing PC glance to all the other PCs. Um, oh, well, I got you, brother. We're just going to murder him now. Except I don't actually say that out loud. Yeah. That's my um, reply glance. I would say it to Daisy. Does that nod mean what I think it means? Uh, so the only real question is... We do, the, we, we do the Return of the Jedi thing for a while, just like... <laughs> well, well, <laughs> so the only real question is, does Desha pick up on it? It goes stop, and it's like, well, yes, I think it does. <laughs> Well, you have your coats. I guess you can go now. No, it doesn't. Desha? Mm? We're, we're all knowingly nodding to each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like you should open with your cleaver is what I'm suggesting. Uh, so about that, uh, since I did not say I retrieved my cleaver from the tree. Oh, come on. It's been hours. It, it's literally on. been like two minutes. Right. Ah, uh, come on. Really? Uh, hours? Sure Ain't even any hour? bounce, and he's like, well, I gotta go write some letters Right, now. exactly. Jesus. Well, we talked um, about sharing the plan since he had burned the midnight hole. Anyway. I was going to I ask, mean, you said can you were I make a spirit that? roll to have grabbed it when we were coming back inside? Yes. Okay. All right, that's the perfect thing for a spirit roll. Uh, this sounds like a difficulty <laughs> to spirit roll. Spirit roll. Uh, Should you get your spirit fingers on? Be sure to Muckle say. Answer. Yeah, there you go. Answer. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. All so right. like I, I, like everyone else coming inside, I was like, oh right, my cleaver. I have to, I can't forget Dalrian. And then I. Well, uh, am I having a stroke? Huh? The yeah. dice that you've rolled on screen and the dice that actually showed up on roll twenty are totally different. I thought right. I saw three three one one. I see three 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 six. Oh yeah. Nope. I, just, uh, nope. I I see three three one one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In the chat, I see three three one one, but the actual three D dice that rolled were three 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 six. I'm looking oh, at you it. mean in the three D dice? I don't even have those turned on. Yeah, I, I know. I have different ones. I'll, I'll, I took a screenshot. Oh shit! I don't know how that well, happened. Well, I was just watching it on the on the channel. And it... thanks, roll twenty. <laughs> Which is a good roll. Um, yeah. You, <laughs> when when yeah, we so look I, back I, at you, maybe the tree, is end, like, so. the tree is like teetering in the wind because like half the trunk has been chopped through. But yeah, you have your sword and no one questions it. It's like Bond having a fully loaded gun. Right, yeah, because right. I was grabbing it to bring it back inside. and Because obviously we weren't going to just, we were we were being done for the night. I wasn't just oh, God, I love the idea tree. of you went back in the house to get the coat. So when you came back out, you had the sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i i i yeah so we yeah so it was like uh oh right so look down sword in hand uh i'm not sure how uh surprise works in this but i would like to cut all three of them i mean yeah you, <laughs> if you are gonna kill all three of them you definitely yeah. will kill all three of them do not cut the old man remember it's part of the plan to not cut the old man just kill simon and garfunkel i guess that's up to you whether or not you remember it's, that uh simone and garfield simone and garfield, yeah, garfield. Yes. yes um i've already made up their headstones I mean, if you want to just kill the two of them, that's a thing. Like, this is not a fight that they have any possibility of winning. He's an old man whose only power is to regenerate from, okay. from <laughs> attacks. And they're uh, two regular, normal people. The only thing they have is Dishonored-style spring swords. Cool. Uh, and if you want to attack them in the back, they never even draw them, right? You just murder <laughs> them. Gotta hate us. <laughs> Uh, so why don't you, in graphic detail, describe how you betray this old man and his 
two oh. completely innocent, uh, innocent <laughs> sons. No, I guess. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, and remember, man, they're wearing all them. white clothing, so as they die, it's going to go deep red. I'm standing behind them. The the three of the three the other three player characters were all giving significant glances, and then yeah, like we're all nodding at each other. That's we're, we're doing the plan. Oh, chop, stab, both brothers. Um, Abraham turns around and he's just like, "Well, if you were mad about losing the duel, you didn't have to kill my sons." Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This was the plan. Well, yes, Mr. Abraham, you might want to uh, use sure. your final moments, as it were, to discuss with your son, Gustav, why he would hire us to kill you. I have only two things to say before I die. The first is that you're a horrible son. And the second is that you should never hire a bodyguard who works for free. <laughs> <laughs> Then he turns and starts running. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I grab the old man. <laughs> All right, we take him up to our surgery suite. Uh, I mean, he's struggling the whole way, but yeah, I mean, you significantly are yeah. much stronger than him. Yeah, I probably just, I, probably, I probably jab my cleaver into the into the into our nice parlor floor so I can hold him with both arms as. <laughs> And just carry him to the room. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we literally put in our plan that we set up a surgery suite, just like the temple. Um, we have the golden spike. We're going to try and give me gold, Farrakemi. Why not? Uh, do you have enough advancements to take that? Blood. Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. All right. So, Daisy, <laughs> as you're going up the stairs, there's someone walking beside you. It's the same man as before, but he's rolled his sleeves up. And you can see that there are numerous, like, scars up and down his arms. Uh, it looks familiar for some reason. Can I? Is there a rule I can make to know that this is Kelsier? I mean, yeah, it's definitely Kelsier. If you have any survivor knowledge <laughs> at all, it's definitely Kelsier. And Kelsier. as you're walking up, Kelsier's just like, is this really what you're going to do with my gifts? You're going to give them to a noble, your brother? You're going to take him from an innocent misting. What has this man ever done? Well, I mean, he, but, well, it's a plan. Yeah, that's a plan. It, it's a plan. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Daisy. Is it, it, this is, do you have something to say? I, 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 well, <laughs> He ain't never done nothing to us. Well, he's never done nothing to us, but he's done quite a lot to a large number of his progeny that have gone unfavored, unsupported, estranged, Unloved. broken hearts, a trail of broken hearts as he goes through the, through the world, ruining households, ruining families. He's another rich fucking noble who's done Lord knows not, what to earn. In noble. No, he's not. It's this man is yeah like kelsey is standing beside you and is like is dixon describing himself to you <laughs> i don't understand daisy <laughs> what has this man done other than have a family and live life and survive and here is dixon this murderer his hands stained with blood please stop nobleman. struggling <laughs> have a little bit of dignity father come on Diggity, diggity, my ass, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Would you like to roll the hat one last time? No. I, I need to prove myself, and this is the way we need to do it. Uh, you haven't done anything, Daisy, except for a miraculous performance pretending to be married to Goose. Oh, by the way, they don't even like each other. Well, we, I mean... Uh, I don't like you, I so it all evens <laughs> out. <laughs> I didn't say I like her. I, I mean... I have a lot of experience with me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Boy, are you telling me you're not even getting a marriage out of this? Well, I mean, I thought maybe it would happen by accident. And, you know. You're, you're that's ridiculous. Harmony damned idiot. Rust and ruin, son. I don't know what's that. 
Well, you got these guys to kill me for free? Oh. And why do you have a creepy sex dungeon that you're currently strapping me down to? <laughs> uh, this is not, as a matter of fact, a sex dungeon. Uh, it's a hemallergy surgery <laughs> suite. Uh, yeah, and Kelsey is still standing beside you, Daisy. is like, this is wrong. It should be Dixon on that table. No, but he's a brother. He, he, we're making a name for ourselves. Desha will listen to you. Take the old man off the table and put Dixon down there. He has plenty of gifts that he could give you. That he could give the world. Where did we put the spike? Oh, crap. I, I can show you how to do it, Daisy. It's I right can, here underneath the... Th oh, yep, yep. I've, I've got it all special powers. I can guide your hand. Oh, good. All you no, have to do is believe it. in me. Now, I, told you I, don't, I, don't want, I don't. I don't want to kill my brother. Uh, excuse me, Daisy. What did you just say? We're like doing stuff. <gasps> Daisy, I think you've had a long day. Perhaps you need to lie down. Yes, right. She's supposed to go right here, correct? No, I, she already has one. I go here. All right, you go here. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, she. I don't think there's room for two. It, it, that's not how, it, the trial doesn't say anything about that. Does, does Abraham have a mortician's hat on as well? I mean, he did, but it probably got knocked off somewhere in between the sun's I, I dying. Just think it's probably it's probably taller than mine, and so it's like you know, put that one away, and like. Are you yeah. gonna swap hats with your father? <laughs> You're a fucking <laughs> monster. <laughs> Your father, yeah, your father the whole time's like, did you, you got them to kill me just to steal my hat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're a sociopath. <laughs> now, I, I always I, knew I shouldn't have married your mother. There was something wrong with her. She was powerful, messed up. Now I, I'm That's feeling just a second there. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit more awkward about this than other uh, encounters. Uh, are you sure there's no? You know passing words between father and son to to understand why we have come to this impasse that's just like twiddling that's, the spike like that's what we're doing right now yeah i mean aren't you aren't you strapped to the table underneath him dixon i'm like i'm getting in yeah i'm just like this is a little awkward is, are you sure you don't want to have a uh a, a, a moment we're, we're, we're having that moment i it's mean just, he's like brother. okay I'm curious how you guys are strapped to the table. Are you like facing his back? Are are you like literally one on top of the other, like sardines? Like that's what it showed in the temple, right? Uh, like yeah. So I mean, you're talking to the back of his head, and he's like trying to turn around. He's like, "This is this is some weird, disgusting stuff, sir. I do not approve of any of this." No, it's pretty weird, actually. I wouldn't be doing any of this if we had more than three episodes left. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm having an episode right now. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm having a stroke. <laughs> uh, you're a gold fair chemist. So I don't think you can. He's like, how'd you even know about that? Your son told us. Yeah, I mean. Stop running I... your mouth all the time, boy. It's part of the deal. You die. Needless okay. to say, we're not killing you for free. Yeah, maybe there's a marriage. Maybe there's not. There's definitely not a marriage, son. Listen, you killed my last lover. You keep your mouth shut, brother. Your last lover did a bunch of creepy shit to you, and no, yeah, he really did. I cannot, I cannot deny that. I'm just, no, I'm just Mr. mad Boma, that you killed him. Mr. Boma, I do like you and all, and kind of, you know, worship the ground you walk on. But now, when it comes to marriages, you're acting just like my father, saying it may not happen. I don't know. Uh, I mean. We can discuss it. You all strapped in on the table down below. <laughs> I mean, if you want to court Daisy, we pretended that there has been a whole, ex you know, relationship where there has been none. We're not just going to. This is. I am strapped underneath your father that I am about to murder to steal his. <laughs> so while this is happening, Kelsey is standing next to Daisy and she has a, one final entreaty and is like, he is strapped to that table. All you have to do is remove the old man and you can spike Dixon. Listen to him talk. He wants to separate you from this young man who clearly wants a relationship with you. Take it from me. Love is hard to find in this world. But... I don't know. How can I... 
He's my brother though. I could I could never. You know, when I was a young man, I too had a brother. And every day I had to live knowing that if he ever said anything about us, if he got caught by the Inquisition, he would betray me instantly and we both would die. I contemplated many times whether I should kill him or not. All right, Desha. That's true, I didn't. It's clear to me that... Uh, I have to live by your example, then. And My example is to kill nobles. That's a rather narrow vision of... And then you see him, like, do this. He's like, ugh. Ugh. And, and the vision of Kelsier just kind of fades away. All right, Desha. It's clear that uh, father and son aren't going to resolve their... Uh, differences here they're just going to swap hats um is that i mean let me ask you a question is there a possible outcome to this where they resolve their differences well i think and, there's a like and a, abraham know, walks away work. not dead no <laughs> abraham dies but i feel like okay. you know, he could be sent to the great beyond with a bit more understanding about the situation like this is what happens when you m create families that you don't nurture and tend to and you know, I feel like he could learn a lesson here, but instead that hasn't happened. Dasha! I think we've said all that before at length. I'm sure it's just come to that point where it's stale now. It's just like, we know. We both know. And that's okay. Dasha, you're muted. I'm sure you've been saying a bunch of great things. Tux? <laughs> Tux, you're panicking. You're muted. We can't hear you, buddy. Oh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> How long okay. have you been trying to talk? Uh, I, I'm thinking a while. Okay. Well, why don't <laughs> you fill like us me. in? Yeah, you were. Mm. <laughs> hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> talk to me, girl. So, Daisy, or Desha has been asking if uh, she has the spike in the right position. <laughs> and pointing and showing the diagram to the to uh daisy and gustav you've done this once before mm -hmm. correctly with my sister um and we no, still have no a that was uh uh yeah that was that was her boyfriend that was uh what was his name oh he other guy uh, no the other guy no the other, the other guy that did, did it first uh, well, no, so... Um, yeah, but he did it wrong, and then he died. Breeder killed himself. Oh, yeah, Breeder killed and, himself, and then Friction, yeah. Friction, friction, friction is... Friction yeah. Is okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, uh, this looks like when Friction did it. Okay, are you ready? Close enough. Good enough for horseshoes, <laughs> hand grenades, and heme allergy, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Dixon, there's basically a giant gold spike that's currently hovering, like, half a foot over your heart through another person's body. Uh, any last thoughts before you might possibly die from it? Yes, uh, I like, think... Like, oh shit, this might have been a mistake! Yeah, that, 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 again, the meta thing, it's like, I wouldn't be doing this if there weren't three episodes. It literally, D Dixon's like, oh yeah, well, time to up the ante, basically. Um, some point, yeah. I mean, you keep saying that, but last episode, you desperately wanted that gold spike. It was two episodes ago. Okay, and... yeah. I mean, don't don't be like I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> you were totally ready to do it. I was character playing up. I always intended for uh, Daisy. Remember when I? Uh -huh. Well, uh -uh. <clears throat> I I literally made myself have bad luck to give it to her. Yeah. All right, Daisy. That's actually true. You did that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was supposed to be like a a moment, you know, between our characters. It was a moment. I appreciated it. And now we're just going to go. Now, I didn't kill you. We're ramping up to the fight on top of the uh, power plant. So <laughs> great to the unbuilt power plant. That, <laughs> We've got three episodes between. It's going to be between Daisy and Dixon. With <laughs> the spikes. Oh, oh God. going to get mine. You got to get the Desha and the guest to pick which side they're on. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Oh, yes. Uh... I mean, let's not go too far ahead here I mean, <laughs> so all week it's just going to be kelsa and wreckage trying to get the guests on their side uh <laughs> until the lead up of the episode perfect 
I mean, no, I'm I'm loyal to. What's death. that, Fraser? You like you like chocolates? Let me let me just send you some chocolates real quick. I mean, the, the Veil is such a great game, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a few copies of it. <laughs> you want to thank me for running that game of Blades in the Dark for you, don't you? <laughs> final ending is where Desha kills both of them. <laughs> That, that's and the ending you only it. unlock once you've new game plus through both other storylines. <laughs> and then she paints it. Uh, uh, yeah, so are you ready, Mr. Beaumont? Uh, fire away. Any fi- Right, well, you've already said like your best final words, Mr. Abraham, the whole body. Uh, thing. So, yeah, as the spike's about to go down, he's like, I hope that when I die, I shit all over you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So tell me what happens as you drive the spike down through his heart into Dixon. Yeah. I clean it, I clean it up. Uh, yeah. I do whatever the I don't know how it, if there's like a lever or a thing or if I just no, jam it through. No, you have to or... physically drop it through there. Yeah. Gotta... Just... <laughs> through the old man and then to the <laughs> oh, Yep. Oh. Ooh, that was a little more sickening than I thought it would be. Are you not dead, Mr. Beaumont? I, I'm waiting for the GM to tell me. Do you me. have enough advancements <laughs> to take the spike? I do. Well, then you currently can take up to a Category 6 gold. Uh, well, I take Category 6 gold, then. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Come up. He's not dead. I'm still alive. It's extremely painful. Wait, no. No, it's fading quite quickly. It's fun. It'll be fun. Oh, this is the the Beaumont tradition now. Um, Finding gold ferrochemists and making sure everyone in our family is immortal. Kind of. Not really. (laughs) I feel like now's the time where you have to kill Gustav to make sure that word of this never spreads. No, no, he's Uh, he's our BFF. And like... No, the- nope, I'm going to actually double down and ensure that. Dixon, you're just like, you got your fresh new spike, and there's a guy sitting in front of you, uh, like, on the, he's like sitting on the table in front of your cross, like, he's like, you know, you really should kill him. Like, leave, I'm leave nothing sorry. behind. Uh, would- the, the guy has black hair and red eyes. Who invited uh, this man? No one else sees this person. What? I mean, you invited me here. He, yes, he came here. Did you forget the plan? No, the, the man's. I mean, the man sitting cross-legged at the end of this table. What? Oh, they can't see me, son. He oh. holds out his hand, and he's like, "The name's Trell." Uh, hi, Trell. My name's Dixon Beaumont. And I shake his fictional hand. All right. So the rest of you are just watching Dixon shake a hand in midair. I didn't think you had that much brandy at dinner. Does gold make you crazy? Not mine. Does gold crazy. make me crazy, Trail? Well, like I said, they can't see me. Why? Don't worry, son. Just kill Gustav. Everything will be fine. I, I don't intend to do that. He seems to be rather infatuated with us, and as we will be sending many people to the uh, mortuary, it seems like a rather valid ally to have. Miss Daisy. Oh, your... boy. You know how many people talk back to their god? And he, like, reaches forward and slaps you on the cheek and you can feel it? God. And then he disappears? <laughs> it happened to me too, brother. Maybe we should talk about it privately. All right. So when you stick a ch- uh, spike in your chest, you start to hallucinate. That's uh not on the list of things that happens. I'll have to go... Talk to the it's a man uh, I, that I've locked in the basement. Maybe you should rest, Mr. Beaumont. Yes, yes, I'm I'm quite uh tired. Um Miss Dasha, please see to it that Gustav gets no, no, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to we need to stage the death. Uh, uh, put the brothers and m- m- Mr. Abraham in the car. We're gonna crash it on that um that slight cliff between uh, here and uh, town. Um, I can take care of that. Maybe I should take care of that part. <clears throat> yes, Gustav, Gustav, you are the um, the body aficionado. Uh, I would like to give my father a proper sending off. 
I'm, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to send Desha with you just in case you happen to run into Adia Manny out in the black of the night. She literally will left on foot. Um, Absolutely. I mean, she can fly, so. Yeah, she can fly, but you know, she could just be uh, stomping around out there, crazy like me and. I'll, uh, I'll pull her right down to the ground if she comes around again. You, you and you and Desha can can fix that up. Me and uh, Daisy are going to have a talk over some brandy. All right, oh let's God. take these dead bodies. I would love the idea of her flying over Gustav, and, and she's pushing away, and he's pulling up, and she just starts dragging him into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> just drops him to his death at some point. Uh, yeah, so you, who is going on this run to stage the crime scene? Uh, Desha and Gustav. All right. Describe how you're staging it, and then we're going to need, you know, a roll to confirm that the staging is good. Yeah, so um, we get... Uh, and remember, uh, he currently has a giant gaping chest wound that looks like someone drove a piece of metal through him. Yeah, like, blow up the car, guys. Like, set it on so, fire. We, uh, so, yeah, so we get uh, Simone, Garfield, and Abraham. Um, I mean, the two guys who have been stabbed and cut in half? Gotcha. Yes. It's going to be a really messy car accident. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's super messy just getting them in the car. <laughs> I mean, it's one really... person literally works with corpses, literally for their job. I mean, sure, that doesn't make it any less messy. <laughs> sure. I know. Oh, I mean, just pull, yeah. I mean, I can make the car flip and tumble and just go crazy between Tesh's strength and the pulling that I have. We can, we can wreck it. Like just, yeah. just, just. I think, I think, yeah, so, I think we're, so we probably put them like in the back, and then we're in the front, and we take the car so, to like a cliff or wherever we were taking it to. Cliff uh, is good. And so we, yeah, I guess we just, then I guess we just plan out like, okay, I'll flip it, and you can pull it off the cliff, and then it will fall, and <sighs> make try TV explosion. <laughs> I would um, make sure it's strapped in and do some other things. But, yeah, we could set up to where you could get it flipping. I could pull it towards me, standing by the cliff. And at the last second, pull myself out of the way or just move and just let it keep going. Bye-bye. I mean, you could just put a brick on the, you know. We did, of... we, did, we did, like, get it like a, like a big old thing. I guess, yeah, I guess this I guess, I guess if, if it's a big enough cliff, it won't matter. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm curious. What if they, what if they this... find the brick? Yeah, sure. You could just drag it using putting the car in neutral. Right. And... It's Mistborn. We have to use our powers. Come yeah, on. of course. So, yeah, you, you draw the car at full speed towards yourself and then step out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I take my cleaver. I jam it in the ground to the right. He can pull it and then pull himself towards my cleaver at the last second. Oh, I mean, there's going to be a giant cleaver spot on the road where they go off. Damn it, yeah, he's sure. right. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, everybody knows what a cleaver in the ground. <laughs> it, like, I, we're going to no, have like, a Before you say that, like... they're definitely going to be like, what is this weird, obvious metal shavings from a tool? Forensic evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's the, it's the West. First There's off, a... first off, before you say that, they are really, really good at identifying metals, buddy. Yeah, sure, okay. sure. It is the Fine. one thing that they are really mm. good at doing. Yeah, I can guess. I, can I propose um... that Desha's cleaver is not so poorly made that sticking it in the dirt causes it to flake? <laughs> um... <laughs> what I'm going to need here is one of you will need to roll a wits roll to see. And, and even. Yeah. If like he could just like walk over there and be like, "Whoop! All metal shavings completely gone." Well, uh, I mean, you are technically better at wits. I I could do. Can I call um, on reckless? Yes, this is very uh, reckless. Pretty freaking re rebellious because you killed your father. Uh, um, I don't know that. I mean, yeah, probably totally staging true. a crime scene is pretty rebellious in the fact that you are rebelling against the government. Uh, yeah, there you go. In that you are covering up a murder you committed. <laughs> I um, won't allow for that. Could mortician apply here as far as... Yeah, yeah. How about Thrill Seeker? I will also give you Thrill Seeker. <gasps> I think those four are So that gives you eight uh, dice to hit a difficulty three. What's the difficulty? Three. I mean, okay. failure um, will almost certainly have... Luckomancer before you roll. 
Okay, eight eight dice, you said? Eight dice. If you fail, the consequences will be terrible. Uh, okay. Spirit Fingers and Luckomancer. Critical glitch. Critical glitch. There we go. Uh, pair of twos. And you two, two things. Okay, so you're going to negate all the complications. But I think the last scene of the night is... <clears throat> A detective with like a huge sheriffy badge walking up and he's got out a <laughs> pad of paper and he's writing in it and he's like, It's a dark night in a city that never sleeps. <laughs> True Medill's been plagued lately with a spat of murders, and I'm on the trail. And all of the lines lead to one man, Dixon Beaumont. Just what man is this Dixon Beaumont? Why is he connected with all of these bodies? Where does it all lead? Is he truly the gentleman adventurer he claims to be? Or is he secretly a murderous bastard? And then, like, the camera keeps zooming out. He's literally, like, standing in the middle of the crime scene with, like, dozens of people looking around, like, Oh, look at that! They're a crime! And he's just, like, narrating, writing <laughs> a, a pulp Sir, who are you novel. talking to? <laughs> yeah, like, the officers won't approach him because he's so busy just, like, self-narrating out a book. Being weird. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so everybody is going to get one advancement for each uh, objective then another for the completion of the plan and another for role playing so that is six <sighs> I mean technically you didn't take out the right hand man but you did cause her to fly off in a huff which was good enough <laughs> what um, um I guess it's, we're at the end right I want to do that. Can I do that scene? You want to do Daisy? the post credit scene with Daisy? Desha. Desha. I mean, it's, it's hard to know who exactly you're going to try to kiss. <laughs> That's uh, not what was, that yes. might be something he would pursue later, especially if the story had time and all that. that I could see that was something with the character. Um, this was more, I thought about this, and I don't know if it would work with our powers, but the whole uh, unstoppable force meets an immovable object, aka. A fully tapped pewter swinger versus a fully tapped iron weight. I know it just sounds something like in the back alley, like I've always wanted to try this. You run at me and hit me in the face as hard as you can, and we're going to see what happens. And maybe just before that happens, the camera, like just before the face gets. Nope, hit I want to know what happens, actually. And I was curious. I didn't know if. if I, was no, I'm, I'm curious. I want to know how hard you get hit. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure how this works out. Yeah, I don't know either. Dasha doesn't know how to hold back. So I mean, I'm... he's not dodging, so just go ahead and roll ten dice. Well, Dodge. Now, if I I know I could be I could become yeah, like so... I could be like I'm like twenty five hundred pounds. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know that that changes the amount of damage you take, but let's. I know I, I wasn't sure. I just like you what, become... do, do yeah. I get my whole pool or do I only get ten? You know what? Sure, just take your whole pool. Okay, fifteen. <laughs> Well, no, it'd be thirteen because I don't get I, don't, I wouldn't get any traits for this. Headstone might become just stone because he might not have a head anymore. I mean, she'd need Hair a box. lot of sixes, of which she rolled zero. Yeah. Uh, so you hit someone weighing twenty five hundred pounds, and you know he rocks back slightly. Maybe I mean, in some ways, uh, given what we know about like being limp, limp bodied and like tornadoes and stuff, in some ways, he's just caused himself more damage. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe you accidentally kill Gustav. All well. right, guy who watched Twister. <laughs> Actually, it was like a Discovery Channel thing. Thanks. I've always wanted to know, but yeah, okay. No Perfect. death is good. You're not dead. That is good. I was thinking the same thing. Now... Unless you had more power tests you wanted to do, I'm going to go do things with my boyfriend now. I was thinking about talking uh, to Miss Daisy, maybe, for a second. Okay. So, uh... Good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just like that. Hey, I'm okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Arthur, uh, Arthur, do you want to just hand wave me and Daisy talking about our shared hallucinations, or do you feel? I feel that like that's something we should do next time. Let's cool. do that next time. Yep. Ooh. That'll make a nice intro scene.
Yes, it will. Uh, of both of you being creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, man, I see God, man. <laughs> he was like, he, he's, he had red eyes, and it was so he weird. He freaking boxed me, man. Dude. And he... Touch Dixon's just gonna at some point be like the man of red and gold. They come bearing the final medal, man. Gonna be here. It's all it all makes sense, man. Trail is the sun. Thirteen, thirteen medals, man. Thirteen's a magical number, man. Thirteen is that the number we're going with? I don't know. Is, is, how, is there thirteen or are there more? There's sixteen medals. It's sixteen. Oh shoot, I have to throw thirteen. 16? Plus harmonium, which isn't listed. Uh, in oh, all God. of Harmonium's alloys, of which Harmonium. there are 15. God. <laughs> oh, man. God. Ugh. We all like, need a little trellium in our lives. I, I can't even... I can't even start reading this series. I mean, I have. But I can't even continue knowing that there's that much that I need to consume. <laughs> That it goes that far. I was I was looking for a book to read to help me get to sleep at night, and Stormlight Archives was there, and I was like, maybe. Yeah, Stormlight Archives was great. You just have to have read every other Sanderson novel. Exactly. I was like, oh. Nice. No, Stormlight don't shake Archives. your head, Kelsa. Nice Only a plea read Stormlight Archives first. Fine. There are a ton of references fine. to other <laughs> characters that show up, and you're like, oh, shit, is that that guy from that other planet? There were at least three times where I was like, I think he's making a reference here. That to I don't get, that. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I still enjoy the novel. I mean, yes, it's still a bitch and good book. Series, and then I'm going to go back and reread it, and I will get all of those references. I don't think it's a bad place to start as long as you're willing to miss a few references the first time. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to I'm I'm just going to ask God what's going on next episode um you do that that's fair that certainly go well. <laughs> absolutely uh, no no problems there <clears throat> all right well let's do some outros i'm ap gaming real hit the subscribe button on youtube hit the follow button on twitch just do it you know you want to lucas who are you I am Lucas Glasshauer. My Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff is Lucas G Variety. I'm relatively new to this, still figuring it out. Um, I actually have a group of guys standing by. We're going to start out with some Cthulhu hack and some action movie world and a few other things coming up maybe in October. Um, so, yeah, just getting that going. I'm, I'm actually reading a lot of H.P. Lovecraft right now and just absorbing yeah. the 1920s weirdness. And I absolutely love his... Uh, his writing style and his just everything. So I'm just I'm just just absorbing it all and planning how to make it miserable for my players because have you, have you actually no read the endings in Cthulhu? Have you have you actually read the Call of Cthulhu yet? The the titular um, short story. Yep. Isn't it so? Okay, I'm gonna you know I'm I, look. It's an old story, so forewarning okay. spoilers to Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu wow. is defeated. By ramming a steamer ship into him. That's <laughs> the only, big... only a temporary setback. He wasn't annihilated. You can't defeat the, him. The whole of Rylathe or whatever, <laughs> however you pronounce it, sinks back into the ocean because a thing that can do maybe like 10 knots bumped into his face. So, I mean. <laughs> it was a sensitive part of his face. So. Yes, I know. It's like <laughs> I, I enjoy where the Cthulhu mythos has gone, but Cthulhu himself in the original story, super unimpressive. All right, spoilers over. Um, <laughs> Let's just go ahead and talk to Wreckage. You know, now Hi. he's going to jump in on everybody else's outro. Uh, I feel like that was an appropriate and interesting comment that moved the conversation along. Uh, if I was wrong, please let me know on Twitter at Dr. Wreckage, which is right there <laughs> below my picture uh, because Arthur is so kind to put it up there. Um, it is. I'm I'm going to do my best to ramp up the show in the final episodes. Uh, I'm really, really sad to see it go. Uh, heartbroken, really. Um, I hope the stars align and we can revisit Mistborn, especially original Mistborn at some point in the future. But of course, that's up to Arthur. Uh, and uh, that train, um, which will... Oh, yeah. How uh, about that? That is a train. <laughs> uh, carrying us into the future. Uh I do GMing and other stuff, but really what I care about right now is you people and here and in this moment, I want to 
I want to play Mistborn forever. Well, speaking of uh, the number one carry in my heart, let's talk to Tuck Thomas. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was really good. I'm glad, glad to be back for our uh, last few episodes. Uh, it's going to be super fun. I like Mistborn a lot. Uh, I am Tuxtradamus. You can find me at Tuxtradamus at all the places. Uh, I do stuff here, stuff on other people's channels. Uh, nothing on mine right now uh, since our show is done. Uh, I'll be doing more stuff on my channel later. Uh, probably not for a while, but yeah, eventually. And yeah, that's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Kelsa, <laughs> last but not least... Never least. I like to say. I don't know if I just said that. Hi, uh, I'm Kelsa. You can find me on Twitter at Kelsa or on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Kelsa Delphi. Uh, I play a lot of role playing games on the internet and run a couple as well. Uh, none of them actually on my own channel currently, but I always. Uh, host whenever I'm going live and I always tweet before I go live so those are good ways to catch shows that I'm on as a player here there everywhere um, five five shows a week so nice uh, that's me. okay well I'm gonna go ahead and host somebody apparently a bunch of people are gonna play overwatch afterwards so <laughs> that's a thing join us for next week something 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 blah 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 <laughs> thank you for having me i appreciate it you guys are awesome yeah i mean some people say i'm getting worse at outros but i feel like i'm just getting better at them uh <laughs> efficient more efficient it was way faster than the intro